And with that, I'd like to introduce the most, most amazing man that I've ever met in my life, General Helmut. serving on his second tour in uh, where are we? Afghanistan now. And he's a full colonel of infantry. He jumped into the D Dominican Rep, jumped into Panama, Panama and the Dom Rep with the 82nd Airborne and he served in Iraq in the invasion of Iraq. And he's in the, in the infantry and I pray daily that he will survive. When I took command of my battalion at uh, Fort Benning, Georgia in 1964 in the 11th Air Assault Division, the man that I met as I went to my battalion headquarters was Sergeant Major Basil Plumley. And Sergeant Major Plumley was with me for two years at Fort Benning and in Vietnam. And whenever he talked, I shut up and listened. And I would advise any, any commander who had a good first sergeant or a good sergeant major, when that NCO talks, shut your mouth up and listen, and you'll learn a hell of a lot. Uh, sergeant Major, come up here. I want you men and women to see a real soldier. jumps into Europe, another jump or two in Korea into combat. Sergeant Major Plumley, I'm proud of you. I want you to look at this man. This is a soldier right here. the helicopter when we made the assault combat landing and landing on x-ray in the Adring Valley. And Sergeant Major Plumley and I were the last two men off of that battlefield after we made sure that no man was left behind and that we're all coming home. No MIAs. I think the proudest thing in my military life is that I never lost a man MIA or prisoner of war in two battles, in two, many battles and two wars in Korea and in Vietnam as an infantry commander. Just keep on. 